浪漫的日常，像漩涡一圈一圈地旋转，就像是谁看腻了一样，打乱了缓慢的脚步，你掉进我的世界里，以为早就习惯，默默地。守在夜旁，抬头望向满天星。Sorry, Amy, folks. I'm going to stream briefly, only for a few minutes, though, because it's late. And basically, I just don't have the time that's required to do other than watching. But last time we streamed, I was also playing Nekodishi,、uh, which is a free.、Uh, Word, a free visual novel dating game thing that specifically that stars a gay college student in Taiwan who likes furries. So you know that's a niche market. But it's free. This is the Steam version, which is clean, PG, about PG thirteen. So that's that's the way I like my games. Kind of, you know, ours is high as well. Can't really. I'm not in games for. That, but it's got cute art. The music is decent. The story is the story is okay, but the text it's really way too wordy. Like they really blow out some of the、um, blow up some of the conversations to go on too long, and just you'd feel like you're kind of stuck. But fortunately, I played through once, which means I get to use the skip feature for parts I haven't read, which makes it manageable. I have already gotten this guy, Guardian Tiger, who's kind of. Um, he's a bit parental and protective. I've gotten this guy who's、um, he doesn't speak Mandarin very well, so he's very quiet and quite earnest. And he's a a spirit that's associated with one of the native Taiwanese、uh, groups of people, which is is interesting. I learned a lot about Taiwan from following his storyline and some of the other story bits. Tonight we're gonna go for my least favorite one, least favorite character. He's not on the screen because I haven't followed his path yet.、Uh, he's a leopard cat. I wish I had a picture for you because leopard cats are really cute. I looked them up today; they're adorable. They're much cuter than the character design.、Um, but he's creepy. He's a tiny little guy who's possessing. He's a yaogui, I think,、um, a spirit, just kind of an animal spirit in Chinese. Taiwanese、uh, folklore, kinda, or maybe spiritual beliefs. And he's possessing the body of another college student, another gay college student,、uh, so he can contact me. And I think he's a creep and he's trying to kill me. But that's neither here nor there. So let's start. If you followed my streams before, you know this part. You know I'm gonna go meet the three main characters: Guardian Tiger, who's my family's.、Um, One of my family's guardian spirits, because my main character is a medium. He's a Jitong, which means he's a or Tongji. It can be said either way, apparently. I'm sure I'm mangling the pronunciation, but he's、um, comes from a family of mediums. So this is his one of his family's guardian spirits. This, like I said, is a spirit from one of the native Taiwanese tribes, who's trying to get help for his people. And. There's the creepy one, creepy, creepy one that he's possessing a college student. He claims to be trying to get help for his shrine, which is dying.、Uh, he's associated. He says he's associated with the shrine, a local shrine, and a local,、uh, like a, a neighborhood deity. I think he's lying though. I think he's just trying to take advantage and like, you know, take my power or something. Probably kill me. He's not nice. I mean, he clings to me like crazy. He's so needy and desperate. It's just really creepy, which I was actually relieved when I realized he's supposed to be really creepy, because at first I was like, "Is he supposed to be romantic? He's creeping me out. He's so clingy." Okay, so、uh, since I'm dating in this time, you have this scenario, which is a classic,、um, you know, rom com dating game scenario, where it's like, "Oh no, there's one bed. Who's gonna be in the bed? Who gets to share the bed?" Which you know has never happened to anyone in real life. You just like sleep on the floor, <laughs> whatever. Fold out couch, go for it. 
But, you know, rom-coms being what they are. So I'm going to pick him. Little cat.
a dancer. It's not stunning dance, but he is passionate about, about dance. He and the little cat are in the dance club together. foreshadowing. Like he was licking my arm and apparently making me dream about food. I'm pretty sure the little cat wants to eat. Like my soul. Like the main character's soul because he has spiritual power. Demons can apparently eat souls sometimes. cafeteria. They go to his dance club. Or his estimate of how long it'll take went up. It was one or two years, not three years, to rejuvenate his temple. the endings, the best endings I found with the other two characters, there are a variety of endings, some bad and some good, but some of the good ones are different. The best endings, the ones I like best, end up having the main character balance his needs, like his not wanting to go live somewhere else, or give up college, or give up dancing, and the, the character he ends up with. So I appreciate that, that there. A lot of the game is about kind of whether to go along with your family, which I feel is just like it's a very Chinese thing. Like in the US we're kind of like whatever, we don't really, you know, we have stories about breaking away from the family, but it's pretty much accepted that you will break away, it's not unusual, uh, and this one there's a little more trouble. Have I seen these parts before? Yeah, okay. So now it's just more of the dance club. They go back home. You can see what I said about it being wordy. Like, look at how much you had to go through there in the beginning of part of the game without choices. It does not work for me. But you do get to the point as you go along there you get more choices. Just a long slog in front. So since I'm hanging out with the cat for this one, I'm gonna go out shopping with him.
he's my favorite, so I don't really like leaving him behind. Just gonna leave him to take care of the apartment. The tiger tends to come along because he's again a guardian spirit. He's also really suspicious of this little cat, which I agree with. We're in Taipei, I think. Also, I'm really confused by how important KFC seems to be. I think Japan is really into KFC too. Like, you eat KFC on Christmas. It's a tradition kind of thing. It's kind of a mystery. I don't know why you know that. I'm about. My character doesn't seem to have any friends. See, I think he's just messing with me. He's also possessing a, a relatively wealthy student, so he splashes out money a lot of time. Pushover. See? You're really into 
fried chicken. Guardian Tiger is also into fried chicken. Fried chicken gets sparkles, exclusive sparkles that aren't even used for your love interests. I wonder if the game makers just really like fried chicken. to eat my soul. is apparently an enormous flirt of like this is a good question what would you be like when he leaves the body and doesn't have the personality memory Short's kind of cute. The bitter his lips. The more bitter his lips, I think they meant. so badly like if I was playing in a reasonable way the way I would um, uh, play if I was going for other characters I would take the tiger's advice and not be alone with them but I'm gonna just set myself up to get totally <sighs> screwed over I think by the character by just trusting him all the way So 
I'm gonna stay at home. So I'm not going to. He's, he likes computer books. He likes learning about technology. Dance club. Um, this is his father calling from the shrine, asking if he's seen. He told him he'd seen a guardian tiger, so he's. Uh, in some roots, you will talk about it with him. And now they're at a hot spring. Woo! There, you, there are no choices at this hot spring. You can't do anything. It's just there. This is a lizard man who is also he's a Yaogui, a spirit possessing an art student. Maybe he's just around, I think, to show you that there are other spirits in the city. He's well behaved. And la la cafeteria fighting, fighting, fighting. Actually gets me points with either of them if I try to get them to get along. They're fighting about whether this guy will help that one surf the web. I don't know who that helps me with. Now we're out and looking around in uh, a park where we're looking at tongue blossoms, which are apparently people go out and view them like they do uh, plum or cherry blossoms in Japan. So we're all out basically picnicking. And this is the old cliche of giving homemade food to the character you like. So I just gave the food to the leopard cat. This is a tree spirit. Uh, even though it doesn't look like a tree spirit. It's the spirit. It's the god of a local tree. That logic. And now I've seen this part. There, they're going back down the hill, and I'm worrying about spiritual romance. Can you fall in love with the spirit? So again, I'm trying to pay as much attention as possible to this one character. So we're gonna ask him about romance, which seems like a terrible idea. about being out where there's no internet connection than possibly leaving his family forever, which is interesting priorities.
other roots. Let's see if any cliches like hiding under a tree together take place. That's kind of ominous music, too. You got me on his own? That's not good. up in another path. This is one of the animal spirits that serves the god of the city god of Taipei. So it's another uh, servant animal. Yeah, it's a servant animal, you know, squeak thing. That's um there's a glossary that defines like spiritual and um uh, political and graphical all the terms that aren't you I wouldn't know you wouldn't know about Chinese culture if you weren't from Taiwan. Just cool. I like that a lot. The third eye. I think you have to remember that in Chinese spirituality, if I'm not mistaken, there's not that big a difference between ghosts and gods. Depending on you know, how old or how honored a ghost the ancestor is, I think. I'm not completely sure though. So this, this, this guy is after. Um, strongly warning you that like it's like this is not a good path you're making bad decisions He does this in each of the storylines. Alright, so I'm not going to confide in any of the other characters. I'm just going to ask the members of the dance club if they've seen him. Possessing it is.
Ah, you watch his hat. Sometimes Cloud or Leopard accidentally. Helps me cheat. The Blizzard wants to re uh, interview me about the spirit world. Right to wrong, I think. fighting against the family again and especially a wealthy family this lizard is giving me surprisingly sensitive advice about just being there to support him and to support his decisions Date him again. Oh, he's actually leaving the garden. The garden nine. Like a good idea. comfort him. So I'm trying to figure out a solution my character is. He's like, why don't you start a shrine here and you could be the local god. A temple, I guess.
characters he said, well, you know, you could set up a temple, even just a little shrine in his room, and he could worship in it as a, uh, an independent god, and it would sustain him. That's odd. So you've never gotten the impression he wanted to be actually human, and that's something he just brought up. So now he's inviting me to his home, or the guy he's possessing some. So I'm gonna say yes, which I have not said before. I think I get hit by a car, because people have been like, there's an ending where you just get hit by a car, and I have not gotten hit by a car yet. So I'm expecting to get hit by a car. Also, it makes no. Oh, right. This is not his family's house. It would be like his apartment where he's staying in the city. Like, it goes to school. Quack! Got hit by a car. I knew I got hit by a car. I was like, where's the storyline where I get hit by a car? Everyone talks about it. I just get. Quarched. Green's black. Do I need to click? Here we go. Oh, he lived through it? No, what? How did he live through that? What's going on? Wow, mysterious weird things are happening. Time gap hit by a truck. was a weird ending. I don't know what was going on there. Um, I don't know what to make of that one. Because it didn't count as a good ending, because I didn't get him on the main screen. And clearly he was, like, messing with the main character in some way, messing with his memory. Like, killed him and then messed with his memory? I don't know, it's very strange. I'm guessing that will be cleared up if I do more. I'm not sure what the other ones are. Let's let's take a look down here. This is the CG gallery. There's always one of these in a dating game. What are 
are his endings. So I got number two, which is apparently he's just replaced everyone else and messed with his memory. I haven't gotten number one and number three. I think number three is the special ending for the entire game. I don't know what number one is. I think I get, I think I get hit by a car again. <laughs> so we'll look at those later. For now, we're done for the moment. But we'll look at his two last ending, his last ending, and the perfect ending. Um, next time, or soon. Soon we'll look at those.